Tissue culture, also known as cell micropropagation and also known as in vitro propagation, is a scientific practice which enables us to produce high density of cellular products from a relatively small amount of chlor cloning material, aka explants. Technically, by the means of mitosis, we are able to produce unlimited cellular material, even from a single cell. Mitosis is a somatic cell division, so it doesn't require external fertilization, which might be the case for the meiosis cell division. This technology has become tremendously crucial for the past hundred years or so, not only for the means of scientific perspective, but also for producing gigantic amount of demanded product, for example flowers, which have a huge economical and cultural impact. This video will mostly undergo required chemicals and hormones, supplements, only used in plant tissue culture and won't cover the area of mammalian cell micropropagation. Media used during a plant tissue culture is generally called multiplication media, containing organic and inorganic chemicals, and in most cases hormonal growth regulators. If we begin with inorganic chemical components of media, we will find that most of the inorganic chemical components are the same to ones used in basic plant fertilizers, such as potassium, phosphorus, magnesium, nitrogen, sulfur, hydrogen, carbon and oxide. All of the chemicals have a huge importance for healthy plant growth. For example, phosphorus influences plant root growth. It is also a part of a DNA and ATP molecule. As a result, it has a huge importance during the process of photosynthesis. One of the sources of phosphorus in media is potassium phosphate. Next one is potassium. Potassium is an important chemical responsible for plant cell division and helps during a synthesis of proteins that are responsible for manufacturing chlorophyll molecules. Main sources of potassium are potassium nitrates. Next one is nitrogen. Nitrogen has a huge influence in the capacity of plant growth. It is a chemical available in a hugest density in a media. The source of nitrogen in media is mostly ammonium. Calcium is also one of the most prominent chemical because of its presence in cell wall and its ability to move carbohydrates and amino acids inside and out of plant cell. Also, it's able to promote root growth. The main source of calcium in a media is calcium chloride. Magnesium is a main element in chlorophyll formation. Deficiency of this chemical produces plant with mostly yellowish leaves and as a result unable to produce enough glucose. Also acts as an enzyme activator. Main source of magnesium in tissue culture is magnesium sulfate. Sulfur as a calcium and phosphorus also promotes a plant root development. Main sources of sulfur in plant medium are sulfates. Also, there are some minor elements that are required in extremely small quantities, even though their deficiency in medium might cause some complications. Chlorine, boron, copper, iron, magnesium, molybdenum and zinc are all minor elements occurring in medium, which we're not gonna discuss here for the sake of simplicity of a video. Normally, plants are autotrophs, which means that they are able to produce organic components alone for themselves. But in the case of a lab space, where environment isn't natural, plants require an additive organic nutrients in a medium, such as carbohydrates, which include glucose, fructose and some starches, vitamins, such as vitamin B complex, which contains all the essential components for plant growth. Also, plant growth regulators play a huge role as well. They basically alter the plant developmental processes. They are main types of plant growth regulators, for example, auxins, gibberellins, cytokines, adrenalins, and ABAs. But we're gonna focus on the most common ones, auxins. Auxins are frequently used in tissue culture and mostly influence cellular enlargement. There are numerous types of auxins, for example, IAA, aka indolacetic acid, induces root development on cuttings. IBA or indolbutyric acid is way more stable version of IAA also responsible for rooting initiation. NAA or naphthalene acetic acid also induces the root growth and also promotes the callus development. From cytokinin group, one of the most prominent is BA or 6-benzylarenine, used to promote bud growth and development. Cytokinins are mostly responsible for cell division and bud development. One of the most frequently used medium in plant tissue culture is MS medium, aka Murashade and Koch medium. 
It was firstly formulated by Toshio Mureshi and Folkscock in 1962 and is one of the most prominent in scientific community. And that's all. By the way, please like, share, subscribe the channel. Any response would be hugely appreciated. And as you can tell from my sound, I'm really tired right now. So, bye. See you in the next video.